Bethlehem to see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. Dear brothers and sisters, it is Christmas again. Two thousand years ago, an angel appeared to announce a great joy to the poor shepherds of Bethlehem. The night grew bright with light as the angels announced in heaven the glory of God and on earth peace to men who believe in love. The harshness of the history we are living tries to clad our hearts in iron armor to suffocate life. But how can we resist the provocation of believing that the announcement is true, that God has really entered the world, that hope exists for us too? And as the shepherds ran in the darkness to the grotto, we too, despite everything, become seekers of joy. Perhaps we do not have the rough simplicity of the shepherds, but the anxiety in our hearts and the need for light are the same. The event that changes history has also been announced to us. We too have to go to Bethlehem to find an answer to the problems that lacerate our soul. The torments that today most brutally afflict society are of an economic nature. All of a sudden, we are threatened by a wind of uncertainty which shakes every illusion of self-sufficiency from the foundations. Materialistic society discovers with dismay its deepest fragility. Being poor or becoming poor becomes a real possibility for everyone. But this is only the outward sign of a deeper poverty that afflicts the soul. We too discover that we are shepherds in the night. For the Franciscan friars who live in the Holy Land, the pilgrimage to Bethlehem on the night of Christmas is a cherished and precious tradition. But this year, more than ever, we are certain that we are not to be alone in seeking the child. With us, there will be many pilgrims who together with the Christians of Bethlehem and of the Holy Land will join us in our liturgies. The voice of the shepherds will resound for everyone, inviting us to set off. Let us go then to Bethlehem. I am sure that an infinite multitude of invisible pilgrims in the mysterious ways of the Spirit, will set off with us to seek joy. Together we will find that helpless child who in the cold of the grotto is not afraid of being poor because he brings us the love of God. At Christmas, from the suffering and lacerated Holy Land itself, there comes the message that can change the world. Come to Bethlehem with a simple heart and the encounter with the child Jesus will cancel all your fears. There is still hope for all. From Bethlehem, a fraternal wish for a holy Christmas. Father Pierre Battista Pizzaballa, Custos of the Holy Land.